last one. All right, so here's your gliding weight, your gliding body weight get up. Um, so Amanda's gonna be on her back and the, um, the working side is the one that's gonna have the gliding disc on top of it. And why we like the gliding disc is because it ensures that your arm stays straight and your fist stays tight, which is really important when you're doing the get up. So Amanda's gonna get into position by driving her arm up nice and straight, your wrist is stacked right over your elbow and your shoulder, and then the same side that knee's gonna bend, and then the other leg extends, and the other arm is in line with that extended leg. So you'll see she's nice and tight, her whole foot is planted into the ground, she has nice contact points, and the first step is to roll, you're not crunching, you're rolling to the elbow, driving off this heel and this elbow. She's gonna roll, she's gonna get nice and tall and tight. The next step is to come up to the palm. So she's gonna press the heel of her hand into the floor and push the ground away. Once again, getting, getting nice and tall and tight and notice this is still a nice straight line. The next step is where people usually drop the bell because the leg sweep requires a good amount of mobility and a good amount of strength through this hand and this foot. So she's going to lift her body up using this foot and this hand and sweep the leg underneath her so that the hand knee and toes are all in a straight line. And this creates that beautiful tripod distributing her weight because the next step is to come up to a half kneel position, nice and tall. She's gonna fix her feet so she's in a strong lunge stance and then stand up strong, punching her fist through the ceiling. Great, and this is the top of your getup. Her shoulder, uh, her arm is still stacked, wrist, elbow, shoulder, and she's nice and locked out. Now we reverse that movement to come back to the floor. So if you ever have trouble wondering what leg to go back with, which a lot of people do, just smack it. Whatever leg you can smack, that's the leg that goes back. And she's gonna take a really big step back. So she's in this, once again, nice half kneel position. Arm is still locked out. Then she's going to hinge and open up her hips. And there's two ways to do this. So you can sweep that back knee, or you can move the front leg. Some people like to move the front leg. I'm, I'm partial to that one, especially in the summer when you're wearing shorts. Either way, open up the hips, and then your eyes are gonna go back to your bell, and you're gonna hinge back down to the ground. So notice how her hips are shifting back. She's finding the ground with her palm. From here, she's going to extend that leg through, still staying with her arm extended, nice and tall. Drop the hips, again, nice and tall there and then you're pushing the floor away to come back to the elbow, pausing, and then pushing the floor away again to come back to your starting position. So she made that look very easy, but <laughs> the getup requires a lot of strength and stability and mobility, which is why so many people struggle with it. The best way to do this is start where you're at, um, and if you can only get to the half kneel, so if lunging is really hard for you or it bothers your knee, just go to the half kneel. The other option is to just go to, you're not even gonna do the leg sweep, you'll just go to that, um, to that arm extension position. So a lot of people will just do half get-ups where they'll go to the elbow, then to the palm, and then back down. So if you feel like the whole thing is a little overwhelming or, or something gives you pain or you don't have the mobility yet, then break it down step by step and practice those pieces until you're ready to add another one.